while I, I, I take his comments uh, uh, to heart, I, I, I do not necessarily agree with his characterization that, uh, uh, that this particular side of the House is one that is uh, tax and spend, to use his nomenclature. I, I want to in, instead perhaps ask, as he was giving a history lesson to this side of the House, uh, and I know he might not have been uh, here uh, earlier, since he also uh, joined the 41st Parliament like I did in a by-election, uh, how would he characterize, for example, uh, the uh, $160 billion in debt that was incurred under his previous government uh, that, 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 that was added to the, to, 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 to the, to the, to the deficit uh, over the course of that previous government uh, in terms of, of how, uh, when that was uh, used at that time and justified by that particular government uh, to, uh, to deal with uh, uh, the, uh, the difficult economy in 2008 and 2009? The Honourable Member for Durham. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, I'm, I'm proud to answer that question from someone who indeed is a friend and uh, we were all very happy to see him get through a very personal, uh, difficult personal challenge uh, with his health and return to the last parliament and then get re-elected, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I have a lot of time for this member and as I said, nicknames are often terms of endearment. It's because we like you at the end of the day. That, and you, Mr. Speaker, of course, that uh, through you to my friend, that that the tax and spend nickname is a nickname, but C2, my goodness, they're confirming tax and spend as their strategy. And when it comes to the global recession of 08-09, which Canada led the G7 in job growth and recovery from, Mr. Speaker, certainly we did run deficits. No, no one's hidden that at all, Mr. Speaker. But we set a course to balance the books by the fiscal year 14-15, uh, which takes decisions. As I said, leadership is not about always saying yes. Tony Blair was famous for saying leadership is at times about saying no. My, my father, who was a provincial member at Queen's Park, coined that term long before Tony Blair did, Mr. Speaker, that sometimes it means saying no and saying why by setting priorities. So I hope with subsequent bills before this place, Mr. Speaker, that my friend and my friends will bring forward a plan that is more than just taxing Canadians, more than just reducing their ability to save for retirement. We need a vision that includes resources, that includes new Canadians, that includes a diverse economy, Mr. Speaker, to make sure Canada stays on top. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Cowichan, Malhat de Langford. Thank you, Mr. And I, I certainly appreciated listening to the, my Honourable Colleague's speech. Um, now, uh, I think I would just like to point to the record that all governments tax and spend. It's, uh, I, I've always hated that term. Uh, that's the whole purpose of government. We take resources, we pool them, and we spend them for the greater good. Now, my specific question to the Honourable Member is that we, we have figures from the Parliamentary Budget Officer, and it's with respect to the tax-free savings account. Now, we have evidence on hand that the increase in TFSA contribution limits would have put a glaring hole in future government's revenues. And I know my colleagues across the way, they, they do like to support our military, which is one of the biggest uh, consumers of the federal budget. So if my question is, is if we are looking at with the, the, the increase in the TFSA at a $132 billion hole in combined federal and provincial coffers, how does he purport to balance the books when we're going to lose that much revenue? Thank you. L'honorable député de Durham. Honorable member for Durham. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank, uh, through you, another new friend to this place uh, for his question. And certainly, I think his question, uh, as a member of the new Democratic Party, uh, now that we're talking about the tax and spend concept, um, nothing underscores the difference between the three parties in this place better than this question. Um, he looks at the TFSA changes and us, our increase causing a hole in revenues. Well, on this side, in this party, we don't see that as the government's money, Mr. Speaker. Mm -hmm. Tax and spending to us should be decisions about, let's take the minimal amount possible from Canadians to give us the opportunity and the great services and, and quality of life we have here, but recognize that we're held in a trust to spend that wisely and only take it if we need it, Mr. Speaker. This is not a hole in our revenues. This is Canadians' money. TFSAs is an example where we're actually saying, you know, you've made this money. Here's, you, can, you can save with it and earn some income from investments without us taxing it again. Or the RSP option, 
We defer that taxation, Mr. Speaker. So that's what was so exciting about the TFSA. And I think nothing underscores the fact that we have Bill C-2 here. The fact that I got this question about holes in revenue shows that only the Conservative Party, Mr. Speaker, really looks at this as Canadians' money that we were entrusted to spend on priorities and make decisions to make sure we don't take too much.